All right, Leos, let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see what's going on with your love lives. Could be a twin flame, soulmate, past connection, new person coming in, however it plays out. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so for my Leo viewers, what can you tell me about their love lives right now? What is the story? Love, Grove, that's good, good card so far. Fragment, Differences, The Fledgling, Strength and Honesty, okay. So this actually makes quite a bit of sense because the last um, Leo reading I did, I got the energy of this secret admirer that was kind of watching you, but he felt like you only dated douchebags or he felt like he just felt insecure, like he didn't feel confident coming forward. He felt like he wouldn't be your type or that you just, he, he just felt like you might not want him for one reason or another. Um, could also be an ex who really messed up with you and is kind of wanting to come forward, but they know how much they messed up and they're not sure if they're going to, if you're going to give them a second chance. There's just that energy of somebody watching you, somebody kind of spying on you, um, and wanting to talk to you, but just holding back a little bit and being hesitant and not really sure if you would talk to them, if you would, um, reciprocate the feelings, if you would pursue it again, um, or pursue it for the first time. So there was just this, this sort of hesitation and this confusion. Um, but there is love here. There definitely is love here. And then we have Grove and, um, Fragment and Differences. So, so yeah, they're they're still kind of dealing with their insecurities. They're whenever I see this card, I always see it's like you're like their safe space and they're wanting that with you. Like they're wanting to connect, they're wanting to have these conversations with you. But they feel like fragmented and like differences right here. It's kind of like saying they feel um again just that insecurity, feeling like there might be too many differences between you two. They might not be your type. Maybe there's someone that you just see as a friend. Um, or that they think that you see them as a friend, but maybe you see them as more, but they don't get it. You know, men are not very good at picking up hints. Um, it's just this energy where it's like they feel like, like fragmented, like they're not full, like they're not fully what you would want. You know, they're kind of in their head about their insecurities and wondering if they'd actually be good enough for you. But with the fledgling looking this way, they are wanting a new start. And I think they're going to try to be strong and they're going to try to step out of their comfort zone and be courageous and come forward, um, even though there's so much uncertainty right now. And again, for some of you, this could be, for a lot of you, it's a secret admirer, but for some of you, that could that secret admirer could actually be an ex that messed up in the past and they don't know if you're going to forgive them or not. And then for others, it's just somebody who's kind of like shy and sweet and just watching you and they just think that you have a certain type that you go for and that they're not that type. So they're not sure how to come forward to you. Or maybe they, they see you as somebody who's very desirable and has a lot of um, potential romantic partners. So they, they don't know how to compete with that. But they're going to try to be strong and, and brave and come forward and be honest about how they feel for you. That's what they're trying to do right now. So let's see what else we can get on them. All right, so for the Leos watching this, what else can you show me about this connection? What else is there to say about this connection? What do they need to know? The Lovers, the Six of Pentacles, okay. The Ten of Pentacles, well, that's good. That's good energy. The Three of Wands, the Devil, Death, 
which is, again, just an ending to something. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's actually really good because you have the Eight of Cups right after, which, is, which means starting over, starting a new life. And then you have the Three of Pentacles. So it's actually really good energy. For some of you, I feel like this is like an ex that kind of dragged you down financially a little bit with like the Six of, and Ten of Pentacles. It's like, I mean, those are good cards financially, but then I see like the other cards that come after it and I'm kind of looking at it. And I'm almost wondering if it's talking about someone that was affecting your finances negatively. Um, and it was just like this toxic kind of energy and it's like there was this addiction, like this codependency, but that relationship is ending. And then for others of you, I think that this is just you ending that pattern that you had or ending like you're like you're not going for that other the type of person that you used to go for. And you're wanting this secret admirer to kind of realize that, you know what I mean? Like you're wanting this this other person to um, to know how you feel a little bit more, I think. Um, and so I almost wonder if, if for some of you, this is you being financially stable and, you know, you're getting out of this devil energy. This it could be like depression. This could be... Um, like drinking, drugs, self-destruction, um, just chaotic, unstable energy. But that, that energy is ending now for you and you're getting into the Eight of Cups energy and you're wanting to start a new life. You're wanting something much better than what you had before. You're wanting a different kind of relationship than what you used to have in the past. And with the Three of Pentacles, you know, you're you're getting into this creative energy and you're willing to put the work in to get to that relationship, to have that with this person. So I think this reading is talking a lot about how far you've come in making that pattern that you you are, um, you know, wanting to date people that you normally would not have wanted to date in date in the past. You're you're noticing people that you wouldn't have noticed in the past. You're you're changing your patterns. You're um, you're opening yourself up to to all different types of love. You're um, I think you're putting yourself out there more. Uh, let's see about this. So let's see. We have this secret admirer here, and he is trying to work up the courage to come forward and be honest with you, even though he's maybe this person has seen you date a certain type of guy in the past or something like that. There's just some energy here where he he's afraid of rejection, but but again, he's working up the courage. He knows that it's time. So um, please show me more about that about him coming forward and communicating what do you have to say about that can you show me that energy for my leos what is the what is your person going to be doing show me what that looks like so differences longing Strength, High Priestess of uh, Spirit, Obedience, Cycles, and Movement. Okay. Okay, so I think I get what this is saying here, actually. Um, it's pretty clear. This person is coming forward really clear because they want you to know what they feel. So I think for this group, it's like your, your masculines are really coming forward because they want to tell you how they feel. They want you to know... They want to be vulnerable and open with you. I think they're just, they just, they have these doubts, you know. And again, you know, men are, are not so great at picking up hints. So it's possible that you do actually like this person and that they just don't, um, that they're just doubting it and they're questioning it and wondering if those little hints, the little, the flirtations, if that's just in their head or if it's real. But, um, you know, see, we have, we ha here we have differences in belonging. So it's like, he knows he's he or she knows that that they're different than your usual type they they know that um it's not what you're used to they know that um maybe there are certain things that would have to be worked out there's certain there could be like religious or political differences or those kind of things too um where it's like there's these little differences but despite all of it just despite um, it might be like a little bit of an odd couple, but, but despite all of it, they, they feel that they belong with you. They feel that their home is with you and they're going, that's giving them strength, you know, feeling that, feeling that this, this soul bond, like they're aware of the soul connection here. They're aware that this is like a soulmate or a twin flame connection. I think they, they, um, 
you know, it, it, it's different for them too. It's not something they're used to either, but they're stepping out of their comfort zone for you. They're realizing that you guys belong together and that's giving them strength um, to come forward. And with the high priestess of spirit here, they're using their intuition to come forward. They're, um, they're just trying to be strong for you. They're really trying to be strong and step out of their comfort zone. They're just hoping that you do the same. They're just really hoping that you're going to be willing to do the same. And with obedience and cycles here, um, with obedience and, God, how do I do that? <laughs> with obedience and um, cycles, it's like, I think in the past they were kind of blind to it or like they could have been blind to this connection or you might have been blind to this connection, but you're ending that cycle. You know what I mean? Like you're attracting a different type of guy and you're also attracted to a different type of guy now. Um, so you're noticing people you might not have noticed before and you're, you know, you're, they're starting to draw love in and you're starting to draw better people. And I feel, um, and it's like, I think your, your person was kind of like obedient in the past, they were kind of, I want to say that, like, maybe they were bullied in school. Like, I think that they were kind of shy and insecure and, like, I don't know why I feel like they, some of them were overweight in school. I don't know what that's about. But um, there's, like, this, this energy of, like, submissiveness when I look at this obedience card in this reading. It's, like, somebody who is um, just too nice, you know, too like shy and they were kind of, um, pushed down by others, kind of beaten on by others, kind of used and abused by other people. And this could be you too. I think for a lot of you, this might actually be your energy and you're getting, you're breaking that cycle. Um, and, and you're, you know, developing genuine self-confidence and going for, for better quality friends and lovers. Um, these days you're breaking those subconscious patterns. Um, and then for some of you, I think it's, it could be both. It could be also, I think you might be mirroring each other. This could also be, this could be your person's energy and your energy at the same time. It's almost like you might be helping each other through this energy, I think. Um, but yeah, with obedience, it's like, there's this sense of like submissiveness and maybe, maybe some complacency too. It's almost not complacency. It's what is that energy? It's like not stepping out of your comfort zone. You see this 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 person right in the in the obedience card. It's like she's just kind of he or she is just kind of blinded to what's around them. They're just doing what they're told to do. They're just being submissive. They're just staying in their role. But this person is stepping out of this obedience energy for you, and they're taking a huge risk, and they're stepping out of their comfort zone, and they're trying to be strong, and they're trying to come forward even though it's scary for them, even though they don't know if you're going to accept them or not, even though if they don't know that if they're your type, um, they're still, they're breaking out of that obedient energy for you. They're ending that cycle. They're ending that phase in your life, or you're ending that phase in your life, or both of you are ending, probably both of you are ending that phase in your life. And they are moving forward towards you. You know, it's 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 like that that energy, like you know, talk even or speak up even when your voice shakes. It's going to be that kind of energy where I think that they might not be used to being too forward about their feelings, but they're they're realizing that it's just that time in their life for them to go ahead and do that. So so yeah, it's good energy. It's it seems like um person can be a little bit too shy at times, I think, but I think that they are a sweet person. I think that they would be good to you. So yeah, there's that. Um, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe and, and let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching.